Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and if you're new here, welcome and if you're not, welcome back. So today's video is going to consist of my makeup routine. Yeah. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking to see my makeup routine and how I do my makeup. A lot of you guys ask and I'm going to give it to y'all. So before I even get started, I'm going to need you to subscribe to my channel right now. And then hit the like button. I have my makeup right here. My makeup bag. She's, she's been to some stuff. She's, I bet you she's traveled to more countries than y'all have. Y'all need to get out and travel. She's been to the Dominican Republic. She's been to Jamaica. She's been to Europe. She's been to Mexico. She's been to LA. She's been to Barcelona. She's been to Italy. She's been to Paris. Like... She's been places, okay? I'm just gonna start off by putting my hair back because we don't want our hair in our face. So, we're gonna start off with that. <clears throat> my skin is already prepped, so I don't know where about that. But the key to a good um, makeup base is good foundation like a good prep like your base of your face is the key to the whole thing that's what's gonna bring it together so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my makeup play some music and then I'll just talk to y'all over the video cuz we about to so to any good makeup routine you have to start off with a good primer so I like to go in with my elf hydro grit primer rub this into my skin until it gets tacky so that it applies better with the foundation then we're gonna go in with my got to be gel I use this on my eyebrows definitely a holy grail my eyebrows last the entire night and they don't move I think this is the best product overall for myself but you have to remember to clean off the excess product so it doesn't get flaky then we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. foundation. We're gonna spread that evenly across our face so that we can have a nice, even complexion. As we spread the foundation everywhere, we're gonna go in with our Real Techniques brush, foundation brush. This is an angled brush, it's pretty good for foundation. And just blend all our foundation. Yes, she went to China. China. Oh, DD, oh, what it is, oh, DD, what it is. <laughs> When doing your makeup, it's extremely important not to get discouraged because you will be looking crazy. I will tell you that. So our next step is going to go in with our e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Um, I'm going to go in to all my high points of my face. So anywhere I want to highlight. So under my eyes, on top of my forehead. And that's really all, all I highlight. Um, and then I'll use the excess products from the brush to highlight anywhere else. Then I'm going to go in with my contour stick from Anastasia and contour my face. So my cheekbones and my forehead and my jaw. As we let the concealer dry, we're going to go in with our Real Techniques Concealer Packing Brush. So this is good for packing in product to the skin as you see here. Um, I'm a person that likes a bright under eye, so give it to me girl. Give it to me. As I blend in the first round of concealer, I blend it in. Then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade of concealer just in the inner corner to give it another bright pop because again I do like a really bright under eye then take my contour brush and basically just clean up all the areas where there are any harsh lines from my contour that meet my concealer I'm gonna grab my same concealer brush and blend and then go in with a damp beauty blender to pack all of it in now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte loose setting powder under my eyes and on my forehead so this is to set anywhere that I highlighted my face so that it's set basically and it doesn't go anywhere you don't have any creases or anything like that then we're gonna go in with my translucent powder set my face eyes and forehead now I'm gonna go in with my Park F Princess bronzer palette I'm gonna use the two darkest shades and I'm gonna go over where I contoured my face Hey, hold on. 
Apologies for the interruption, but as I was saying, keep on going in with my translucent powder. Then we're gonna make sure my jaw is cut to the gods, ready to cut these hoes. Period. Don't play with me, play with your mama. So we're gonna go ahead and carve my face. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer palette. Then we're gonna contour my nose and my eyes. So we're gonna bring some color and some structure to my nose and eyeballs. And I'm going to move on to my outer corner of my eyes, give it some color, and give her some more definition. Then do the same thing to the other eye. Now for my favorite part, I'm going to go in with my Olimar blush palette. It's going to use the two darkest shades and keep it on the apples of my cheeks. So fun facts, I used to not like or use blush, but I didn't know what it was for back then. And now I'm aware that it brings color to your face. And look how much better my face looks already just by adding blush. Now we're going to go in with my Milani concealer, carve out my eyebrows, blend those babies in. And we are almost done. Remember when doing your makeup to not get discouraged and take your time because when everything comes together, it's gonna look really nice. I promise. So, I have completed my makeup, um, and yeah, so that's basically my makeup routine, it's nothing crazy, it's just the basics, I got my basics down though, I do my makeup when I go out sometimes, not even all the time, but when I be outside, your girl be stepping, so you know she gotta be she just gotta come like looking good she gotta come looking clean like we can't disappoint out here but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it it's fun doing videos and i hope you guys enjoy watching them don't forget to subscribe and like and comment any ideas that you have that you would want me to do like i'm again i'm open to everything and so let me know. It was nice to talk to you guys. Bye.